Peggy Sestin. The black orcs are the strongest and most powerful of all the orcs. Many believe their name comes from their dark green skin, but it is more likely to have come from their dour demeanor and bleak sense of humor. Their crushing superior physical strength means that black orcs have always seen the other green skins as little more than frivolous amateurs, which is why they've formed their own teams. They are grim and incredibly bloodthirsty, but black orcs aren't stupid, which makes them all the more formidable. There are many goblins on the black orcs team. Goblins' great speed and agility are indispensable assets on the field. The team also includes a troll whose stupidity is only matched by their voracious appetite for violence. Troll's brute force can be invaluable in certain situations. Welcome to the Black Orcs team presentation video. The Black Orcs team's main strategy is brute force. The harder you hit, the more likely you are to finish the game with more players. You'll never get the ball by trying to compete with a catcher running at full speed, but even if you can't catch him, you can always crush him with another player. Be methodical, dismember the opposing side and take possession of the field. Your appalling passing game will never let you dominate, but you'll find that goblins make solid ball carriers, providing you give them the protection they need to move up the field. The cage technique has been a very successful strategy. One goblin carries the ball and is protected by four black orcs. They move forward as a single block, clearing the field and scoring points. There are three types of players on the black orcs team. Black Orcs, powerful, resilient players. Their main role is to crush the opposing side. Their armor means that they can withstand blows and stay in the match. Goblins, relatively weak but inexpensive players, so you can recruit plenty for substitutions. Goblin numbers will give you a continued advantage on the field if players are injured. Goblins' main role is to provide support and pick up the ball and run it into the end zone to score a touchdown. Trolls. The troll is the team's muscle, and they bring hitting power and force. A troll can be a heavyweight ally, providing their teammates can stop them from losing their cool. From the outset, each of your team members has several characteristics and skills that can give you an advantage over your opponents. Let's take a moment to analyze them. Black Orcs have two skills. The Brawler skill allows the Orc to re-roll a die when declaring a block to try to avoid a double KO, which is synonymous with a turnover. The Grab skill enables you to move an opposing player in any direction during a block. This can hamper the opposing team's movements, free a teammate from a tackle zone, or isolate an opposing player in a group of your own players. You can also easily throw an opposing player off the field, and he might stay off for some time. Goblins are weak but inexpensive, providing a plentiful supply of substitutes on the field and allowing you to keep a numbers advantage at the end of the match once your Black Orcs have swept through the opposing team. On the Black Orcs teams, Goblins' key skill is their thick skull, which means that they can withstand more damage than Goblins on other teams, but that doesn't mean they can stand up to your opponents. Their stunty characteristic makes them hard to block, while their speed and agility enables them to slip between players on the opposing team. Trolls can throw goblins to move them up the field or take out an opponent. The troll's new projectile vomit skill can wreak serious damage on an opposing player. But just like the rest of the troll's moveset, it can quickly backfire on you. Trolls can be very unpredictable because their really stupid skill means that every action requires a throw of the die. So when trolls mess up, they may at best refuse to move, but at worst, they could injure themselves or a teammate. Always keep an ally on the troll's field of action who can keep him in check and reduce his chances of messing up. There are just three different characters on your team. You have no real throwers, and the orcs and the troll are seriously lacking in movement allowance. So the goblins are indispensable for balancing the team, which makes them a primary target for opposing teams. The black orcs goblins may be more resilient than most, but it is still hard for them to withstand blocks. As you can see, goblins are important for keeping an advantage of numbers on the field and for scoring touchdowns. Make sure you recruit enough of them. Ah! Something's happening at last. <laughs> oh dear. How disappointing. What chaos. <laughs> For more information on Blood Bowl 3 and to make sure you don't miss the latest news, join us on social media. 
See you on the field.